Hi everyone, Dr. Joanne here. Welcome to my latest video, Is Work a Four-Letter Word for You? I am a mind-body doctor and a mindset coach for women. I teach women how to heal their bodies, their emotions, and their relationships, and we do that by cleaning up our mindset. And one of the few men that I do work with is my husband. And he's had a few insights lately that he gave me permission to share in the hopes that it might help somebody else with a breakthrough. So he's had a lot of resistance to the word work. So ask yourself, does the thought of doing work, whether it's mindset work or anything else, does the thought of doing work trigger you? And when I Googled work, the definition is physical or mental activity done in order to achieve a result. And synonyms, we were trying to look for a better synonym um, to that he could work with. But synonyms that I came up with were labor, toil, exertion, drudgery, effort, grind, sweat, chore, struggle, yuck. So how did we get here? When we talk about mindset work, we have to talk about ego indoctrination systems. And these are systems that are put in place where we learn things about ourselves that are not necessarily true, but they're how we're supposed to act and behave and think in society so that we can fit in and do the work that factories or corporations want us to do. So in school, you know, you're forced to sit at a desk all day long doing things that you don't like to do. You're forced to learn subjects that you have no interest in. And you're always comparing yourself to others and you're always feeling like you're not good enough and you can't do anything right, blah, blah, blah. And family indoctrination systems, you know, you might have heard your parents when you were young saying things like you have to work hard to get ahead and money doesn't grow on trees and you have to go to college or you're nobody, those kinds of things. And then media, all the time, we're left feeling like we aren't doing enough, we aren't good enough, so we have to buy these products so that we feel better about ourselves. These are all just indoctrination systems of the ego teaching us to believe things about ourselves that are simply not true. And the hardest part of doing mindset work is the limiting beliefs that stop us from even beginning. And it would be something like, why should I do something that will be difficult or take too much time or effort? Why should I bother doing something that I don't like? So especially if you were young and learned those things in school, like you were forced to do something you didn't like to do, it took a lot of time, you had to sit there at a desk all day long. These are just common limiting beliefs that we that we get growing up. They're stories that we make up in our minds after years of being forced to do things that we didn't want to do or years of being forced to do things that we knew were not right for us. So how about if we use a different word instead? Instead of work, how about if we use the word create? So when we do mindset work, we're learning how to create. We're learning how to use our talents and our gifts in a way that feels light and easy and fun and fills our heart with gratitude. We're learning how to create by following our own inner guidance system, which never lies or feels like a burden. It feels like freedom. You're, you're doing things that you came here to do and doing them in your own way. That's what sets you free. So learning how you create which allows you to finally accept who you really are and what you came here to do might help you feel better about doing mindset work as well. That's what turned it around for my husband. For him, it was tapping into his own inner guidance system and freeing himself up that he could create what he wanted to create and not just doing this work that other people wanted him to do, not doing this drudgery that other people wanted him to do. And with the mindset stuff, he really wanted to, to his results that he wanted to achieve was just feeling better and feeling inspired and creative and entrepreneurial and all the things, but he was getting bogged down in doing the work, which turning this into like creating and tapping into his inner guidance system has helped to set him free. So creating a new mindset for yourself allows you to follow your dreams, 
make the best decisions for yourself, and it frees up your energy to do the things you love, to heal your body, and heal your relationships. And so if this speaks to you and you're curious to learn more about this topic, I invite you to visit my website, drjoannetully.com. I have a few recorded webinars that you can gain in instant access to. One is called Learn to Heal Yourse Yourself, Three-Step Breakthrough Formula. Another is How to Use Your Mind to Heal Your Body and Relationships. Um, another resource you might like to watch some of my other YouTube videos. Um, one is Why Do We Need Mindset Work? That explains more of the ego indoctrination systems that we have to unlearn so we can set ourselves free. There's another video called No One is Coming to Save You. You've got to learn how to do this work for yourself. And then responsibility, burden or opportunity is another good one because a lot of us feel like the heavy burden of responsibility and work. So we just can't even start because we're bogged down with definitions of these words that that are not allowing us to move through and create what we want. And if you want a quick yet powerful lesson on how to connect with your very own inner guidance system to follow what you came here to do and what is good and right for you. I have a mini course available for $25 and I'll teach you how to do this for yourself. The link is in the video description. So check that out. It will be really, really good for you. A good starting point if you haven't done anything else. Hope this served you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, um, leave me any comments or questions that you have. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.